Yo, what is up guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically we're going to be talking about Gambit and Gambit Prime. So, this is actually the video that I've been wanting to talk about the most. Mostly because out of everything in Destiny 2 right now, I feel like Gambit and Gambit Prime are probably the most forgotten playlists in all of Destiny to be quite honest. Uh, PvP, I would say it's more just dying from other reasons gambit's just literally it's just being forgotten no one likes it as, as well but i think i have a few things that could fix but uh gambit not only fix gambit but introduce a few new things that maybe people would be a little bit more interested so the first thing and this is the first thing we need to talk about first and foremost gambit needs a vendor refresh i'm gonna be real with you guys right now i am appalled that gambit has not had a vendor refresh ever Ever. Gambit has never had a render refresh. Now you could tell me, oh, well, what about the season of Dr of the Drifter? That was, wasn't a vendor refresh. Gambit didn't get anything new because Gambit Prime is what happened. Gambit Prime was the new event that happened, which brought the armor and the new weapons. Gambit didn't get anything particularly new. We still have the armor from Forsaken, all the weapons from Forsaken. And yeah, we haven't any we hadn't had any reason to do Gambit forever. And unfortunately, it's just that shouldn't be the case. Gambit is a part of the core activities and it should be treated as such. So what would I do to like fix Gambit? And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't have anything too crazy to, to like showcase right now. This is more just little things here and there, uh, aside from one big one. But the first thing Gambit should do is get rid of Gambit, the old one. Uh, as much as I love the old Gambit, if Bungie's gonna be like, oh, we just don't, we don't have enough space to keep Gambit and Gambit Prime, take away Gambit. But I would say, don't take it out, just repurpose it. So I thought of a new cool game mode that could work, especially with the type of uh, players that Destiny 2 has. Make Gambit, into a new game mode where it's basically just like gambit where you kill uh put your moats into the tower and then go as fast as you can to kill an enemy at the end do it all like that but really focus on the speed really focus in on let's see how fast we can get players to kill everything and what i mean by that is let's say let's say you start off and then right when you get in there, you immediately have to start killing. And at that point, you could probably not even have a limit to like how many motes you can have. Maybe. But it would be cool be because it would em emphasize the speed. Like get, like get to that build crafting to the point where I have to kill as much as I can, fast as I can. You could put in the, the choice, the the invader the like the the roles from gambit prime you can do that it just invader wouldn't work well because this is probably the big change is that don't have invaders come in don't let invader don't let people invade just make it speed just make it as fast as you can make it to where let's say i put in five modes those five modes don't turn into just one uh one taken uh, dude, it t turns into five. It turns into so on and so forth. However, however you value the taken. So like, let's say, let's say I put in 20 or 15, that should equate to maybe two, three captains or something like that. That way, because there's no invader, there's also another thing that's going to be as annoying as an invader, if not more. So if all my team puts 15, then that should be an, another new enemy, not just like a bunch of captains, but like maybe, maybe a primeval, not like the primeval, but like a little small primeval that has its own mechanics and, and whatnot. I would love to see them try something new like that because let's be real, let's be honest. Gambit is not failing because it sucks. Gambit's failing because people don't like invaders. People do not like invaders at all. And I'm right with you. I don't like invaders to a certain point. I think invading is cool. I think it's fun and it brings a lot of spice into Gambit. But I do like the idea of having a PvE more centric Gambit. 
but them they're still being a competition with another team. I think that way a lot of pe- a lot more people would like Gambit more if it was more of a PVE aspect of like I have to go faster than my t- my than my enemy, but then I can still fuck with them if I put more emotes or maybe have enemies or like kind of like a MOBA where you have enemies that can give you a buff and whatnot. Do that. Have a have a boss that spawns in and that your team have to kill in order for that same boss to go to the other side and hunt people down. It there's just so much you can pull for ju- this just one activity. I would love it me personally because not only would it be more interesting, but it also brings in combinations of like, let, what if we all put 15 together? What does that bring? Oh, it brings this. What if we all did 10? Oh, it brings this. What if we did like just certain ones? Bungie could even be like, if all of us put sevens, you could have like a very meme boss. Like it would be cool. Uh, I would probably call it like Gambit Rush. That way, when people go in, they immediately know I'm putting in the, my things that are fast to kill, which means you'll probably never see like truth because you won't need it. LMGs for sure, but like nothing too crazy. I think the only LMG that would really benefit would be the Gambit LMG because that one really focuses on killing shit. But you'll see so many variety weapons it would be so much fun and you really can't even bitch about like imagine gambit rush happens and bungie's like all right cool we made it and at that point no one has a fucking excuse no one has an excuse of like oh i I just don't like gambit it's like why it's literally pve there's no pvp like it's it's player versus over there the players over there like it's so like that's like the minimum bar of pvp that if you can't even handle that then why even play anything at that point so me personally i would love it because it would also kind of be like a gateway drug to the regular gambit prime which i still would love to see be there because we need a we need gambit or a gambit prime like like activity because as much as I hear people bitch about, oh, Gambit's fucking garbage and all this. Gambit's fun. It's a lot of fun. The only reason I don't play it as much is because I burned myself out when Gambit first came out. Me and my friends played it for, like, days. And now I'm just... And I also played the season of The Drifter. I I was there. I played that shit. And... Yeah, I burned myself out from Gambit Prime 2. I still like playing it. It's just that I don't do the weeklies for it anymore just because, like, ugh. Like, I, again, I'm burned out. But I don't want to see Gambit leave because Gambit has a lot of potential. I love Gambit. The idea of it and just the lore behind it as well is amazing. So that would be probably the biggest thing. Make a new activity where it's a little bit more PvE focused, but still have that PvP aspect to it where you're competing against another team. The only big thing is that you can invade or you can invade like once. I don't know. There's just so much you could do with this. So, Yeah. That would be the first one. Uh, obviously, this would have its own armor as well. Our armor weapons and stuff like that. Uh, I think Gambit Prime, again, I think Gambit Prime is in a fine place. I think we just need minor changes to like maybe the he- heavy ammo economy and tweaks to the invader. Because I, th- I do think invaders are really dominant in uh, Gambit Prime. I think Gambit Prime really suffers from invading way more than anything else in my opinion so yeah that's that's pretty much it for gambit prime and gambit uh rush or whatever i called it i think the other thing we have to look at is the reckoning the reckoning i like it but we it needs tweaks now if bungie's like oh we're not gonna do anything with with reckoning sunset it there shouldn't be no reason why it should be here uh you could tell me oh well you know it's needed to get X and X. That's cool. Just make it available through Gambit or Gambit Prime. Uh, make it available in any other instance because Reckoning does not really do anything for the game right now aside from being an easier way to farm certain weapons. But at that point, Bungie could just make bounties for those weapons. So again, doesn't really do anything for me in my opinion. If you're telling me, oh, well, what about the armor? They would have to find a different way to give you that armor because honestly, it's just reckoning is taking taking space that I see other stuff being more useful. Now, if they're like, "Oh, we like reckoning, we want it, to, we want to keep it," add more weapons, add more armors, make some of the instances better, if not reimagine the instances. 
you, you need to do something with reckoning because reckoning at the moment it's just like oh I need a I need a random weapon okay cool just go the reckoning and farm for it because that's the only place that's reliable if you make gambit prime reliable if you have bounties available that can give you certain weapons or armor as well cool don't really care about it too much to be quite honest that's just my thing it's like reckoning I'm okay with it staying as long as it adds more value as in not only like when we get the new vendor refresh we should get our vendor refresh for gambit prime the new gambit or the old gambit and the reckoning are uh the reckoning gear it should be new everything should be new or at least make it super pinpoint accurate on what i want let's say before i start the game to like put the emo instead of an emo i put in the bounty okay this is what i want and it gives me like an 80 percent chance to get it if not whatever i should be able to get stuff from reckoning easier if you guys don't want to want to keep it there's just so many things you can do with reckoning again i just i really want to come to, come back to that there's a lot of possibilities with just the gambit playlist itself and what kills me is that gambit in all of its entirety should be a part of that or should be part of the core activities which means we need more love for the gambit uh prime and gambit as well we need more armor more weapons more chances to get materials as well let's say let's say i want to get like upgrade materials i should be able to get it from gambit like i should be able to get it from any playlist so that's pretty much it i could talk about this topic for a long way longer time but i will just leave you with this I would love to see drifter themed armor for Gambit Prime or the new Gambit uh, game mode that I talked about or for Reckoning. I would love to see more uh, the Nine stuff because apparently Drifter and the Nine are connected. I would love to just see more creativity behind Gambit because as it is right now, I'm getting armor that I got like whenever Forsaken came out. I'm still getting weapons from whenever Season of the Drifter came out. And ultimately, I am good. I don't need any more of that. And when I play the Gambit Prime or Gambit whatever, I'm just getting same of the some of the same old stuff that I got already. So, Bungie, I would love to see um, some of these added into it. If you if you guys do the the Gambit Rush let me know i will give you so many ideas for it i would love to be part of that team but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below what do you guys think about gambit is it could it be could it be sal saved salvaged let me know in the comments below do you actually hate it let me know in the comments below but other than that be safe out there guys don't be spitting on people coughing on people you already know what's happening in the world be safe and other than that we'll see you guys later